Hi, my name is Musu Gochuku Alfred and folks call me the online millionaire because I teach people how to make money using the internet. This is going to be a very quick video because I'm going to be showing you how to make someone an admin on your Facebook page. You know, um, perhaps you might want somebody to run um, advertising for you, you know, uh, on Facebook and uh, you want them to run it, you know, from their end to be able to have access to your account. So this is what you have to do to give them administrative rights over your account to be able to, you know, edit and change things and actually really work on the account. Um, from their end to deliver the result that you want. So the first thing you want to do is to come to your profile. So there's a difference between your profile and the page. So this place is your profile where you interact with your family, friends, you know, and the enemies or whoever it is on Facebook. So to prove that this is your profile, you can simply click on this little image here. You can see my name is Gucci Alfred, writer, author, coach, speaker. So um, you can just scroll down to be sure that you're on the profile. Since it's proven that we're in the profile, let's go back. So I go to home, I click on home. Um, we need to go to pages. There are two ways you can go to pages. One is to go to this place and click on pages. Another way you can do that is to come to this um, square icon here. That's your menu and you click on it and you click here to go to pages. So either way it's here or here but i would say um, we go with the second that i just open but it's the same thing so i just click on the second one now it's open um you see that we are not yet in the page these are pages that i have under my account i'm going to take my own personal page i have other pages though so i will either take this or i will take this or well, it's the same thing so you just uh, a matter of choice where I want to assess it from. So you see this is pinned and this one is not pinned. So but let's go here. Let's just take this one. But we'll take you to the same place which is the page. Now we are at the page and to be sure that we are at the page you can see it. selling uh, selling is an art author coach speaker. You can scroll to be sure that you are in the page. So let's go down because your advertising um, will be shown on this page. All the ads that you're going to be running will be shown on this page. Except otherwise you choose another page where you want to um, run the ads. If you are like me that, you know, have several um, ads accounts and several pages because I'm a digital marketer. Okay, so I have option of using several. Not that I have option, I, have the, I, I made the choice of having just more than one account because I cannot build my business on just a single account. So that being said, let's go um, to the real deal. Why we are what you need to do now is to scroll. So we just scroll to this place. What you need to look for here is settings. So you click on your settings and once you click on it you wait for it to load. You are not going to this place now that you have opened this the settings. So it's expected that your eyes should be on this place now. Once it's opened, what you need to do is to fix your gaze here. So you have to um, go down. We have general messaging, page info, templates, tabs, notifications, advanced messaging. So what you are looking for is page roles. This page roles, you just click on it. Now that you've clicked on the page roles, you have to wait for it to load. So um, I'm going to be opening my Facebook on another place. All right. I will just type because I want to show you something. There are two ways you can do this. Um, number one, I just type face um, facebook.com. So assuming I want to add myself, not sure I can add myself though, but let me say that I want to add myself. So what I need to do is to get my profile link. Okay. So this is my profile link or uh, what you call um, your Facebook handle. So I just copy this. Okay this profile i just copy it then i go back here because i want to add pedro right i want to assume that i am another person i'm trying to add myself so let's another person send you their facebook handle to add them so that's what you do you copy it there then you come here look at this place assign a new page role that's what you want to do you click on here 
click to jump. Don't mind my screen because I set it to black because I work on the system a lot. So I'm trying to protect my eyes. That's why my system is on the dark, uh, running on the dark interface. Um, it's supposed to show you white here, to show you that there's a box here to, you know, um, paste the stuff. So you have to click there. Once you click on, on this to bring you, it should be somewhere here because you can see it because I wasn't saying very much. So you have to now paste that stuff here. Are you saying it? Once you paste it, you come here, look at here, editor. Editor has limited rules to what they can do, but if you want the person to actually work or do a lot of things on the account, you make them an admin. But don't make um, someone you don't trust an admin to your page. Okay, please don't. If you're going to make anybody an admin, let it be somebody that you trust, somebody, maybe probably somebody having your team that you trust. Otherwise, keep them at the level of editor, please. So let's say I want to make this man an admin. I'll just make him an admin, but I can't add myself because um, I own the page. So if it's another person's link, okay, let me even say that I, I'll choose another person's link. Let me choose another. Choose just um, a random person from my account. Do I even have? Okay, let me say that I want to choose this guy. Okay, let me say that I want to use a chin mark. Okay, so this chin mark, this is his Facebook profile. So all I need is to copy. Then I come here, I come here, delete that. So I choose. So it's supposed to just show then you hit here to, you know, um, add that person. It's as simple as that. You hit you hit this button once you have done that. Another way you can do that is also to look for a page. So let's quickly go to a page. I'm having a little network issues here. So let me see if I can just assess a page. Assess a page. Assess a page. Um, so I'll click on all pages. This page is uh, my... Okay, let me just take, let me just see pages, let me just type um, BTC, um, BTC, so I want to get a page that is related to BTC, um, these ones are groups, so I'll need to come here and change it to page because the options I'm getting there are groups, so all of these now are pages, let's say I want to make this page an admin what i'm looking for is this number look at it here this particular number that's the id i copy it okay that's the id number of that page that's the only thing i need so all i need is just to come and paste that id if i paste it i switch if it's admin or whatever that i want to and hit this button so that's just about that it's not really a difficult thing i hope it's very clear so we'll stop here